What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Predator Hunting Grounds video. Today I want to go over an interesting idea that I recently brought up during an episode of our podcast, Make Every Death Count. In this episode, we were discussing how Sony and Elfana can add to the longevity of Predator Hunting Grounds and what content could work in the future. Somewhere in that conversation, the idea of time travel came up and being sent to different times and locations within the world. Well, interestingly enough, the 2018 sequel, The Predator, had an alternate ending that involved a time-traveling Ripley from the Alien franchise. This concept insinuated that the Predators have mastered time travel and that, at some point, Ripley came across the Predators. So, let's talk about how I think this whole idea could work. Let's be clear, it's too difficult to add new weapons based on the time in which you're time-traveling to. So you can't just add new weapons every time a new map comes out. But, what you can do is have the fire team we already know, with the guns already established in the game, and have them time travel themselves. So, for the opening cutscene of every game, you have the fire team standing over a dead predator, whose wrist tech is glitching out and going crazy. One fire team member goes and messes with it, and then, a flash of white, and they all get sucked in Jumanji style, being sent to a different time in history. What's nice about that idea is that it doesn't matter. You can use that for anywhere in history. It doesn't matter. You can use that for any time a new map is in a different time, not present day, and use something similar to that. Simply, the fire team that we already know gets sucked in, and you are somewhere else in time. But where could we go in time? What kind of things could we do? What maps could there be if they were to run with this? Well, one, medieval times. And that would be very simple, because you simply just have a castle or something that you could enter and everybody, obviously the soldiers who defend that place, are going to be the AI to which you attack. World War I and World War II. That's very simple. You're simply being spawned into the trenches of World War I and World War II. And you have to take on soldiers from across the world while still dealing with predators within that mix. Your objectives can be just trying to figure out how to get back to present day. And that's it. You simply have to go through certain objectives to figure out how to time travel back to present day and you're taking on a bunch of World War AI with Predator in the mix as well. And then, of course, you have things like Vietnam, which we've already seen comic books surrounding Predator in Vietnam. The Civil War. There's comics surrounding Civil War as well when it comes to Predator. And then, of course, you don't have to just focus on the past. You could focus on the future and be sent to the future into future warfare, future battles, or an apocalyptic setting. You could do anything. That's what's so amazing about this. Time travel would open up so many doors for Sony Nophonic and basically makes content limitless. Based on lore, Predators have been around since the beginning of time and have been there since day one. So it has come up many times. Time travel has always been an interest when it comes to the Predator universe. And then we already have a ton of comics that involve things like this. So why not take advantage of those comics, use Predators that come from those, and send us back in time to experience that as present day fire team members. I think it's really interesting. It's something that has been on my mind since we ever even, we brought it up in the podcast. I think it has a ton of potential, but also it may be hard to buy into. Time travel is pretty out of this world, but so is a crazy predator alien. I don't know. Um, that's my big thing. I don't know if people will be able to buy into it. I don't know if we as fans can accept the fact that we're time traveling randomly and maybe the game then gets too cartoonish. I don't know. Um, it is interesting though. If you're interested in hearing our entire 45 minute conversation on the possible future for Predator Hunting Grounds, check out the latest episode of Make Every Death Count. Link in the description below. But hey, let me know your thoughts on this. What, could you uh, handle time travel in the Predator Hunting Grounds? Is, is that something you'd like to see? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But that's going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.